hello guys welcome to my second video for creating a login and sign up application in this video we will be doing the database validation so let's start right away first let us create the entity manager for this we use the get doctrine command and then get entity manager now we need to get the repository of our user table that we had created in mysql for that we can use the get repository command of the entity manager we have created now we have to give the entity that we had created using the doctrine generate entities command in my first video so we can specify that here the entity name was users for the time being we will use two variable user and password to do the database validation later on we can map it from the front end form that we are creating so I have created two variables user and password now we should check whether this user and password variable is present in our DB for that we can check the repository using the find one by command and we can pass our user and password into that for that we need to specify a parameter array and uh, we need to make sure that the variable name we are using in the array should be same as the one in the generated entity now we can give user as username and also the password so this will return a user entity if such an entity is present in the database so we can check that using the if condition now we can pass the first name which we can get from the uh, user entity uh, we should have a getter function defined in the user entity we can just copy paste that so now if the login is success and if we have a user variable obtained from the repository uh, we pass the first name into our index html twig and uh, in the else condition we can probably give the name as some message login failed there are two user variables right now let me just change one to username now we should add a root for our login action we can give that in resources config routing.yml this is a default root that is a hello slash name root we can change that to our login root we might just need the login and not the name now we can remove this name variable from our action also now we can test this login in our browser our new root is login so we should get the first name from a db yes we are getting one first name this we are getting from our user table the first name is given as first so we have done the basic login validation using doctrine in the next video we will create an html login from using twitter bootstrap Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a nice day.